In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, let us examine our own conscience as a progression for this holy mass. If I find something went wrong, like a prodigal son, forget about it. The sake of the Lord, I am sorry to a silent confession. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us for your sins and bring us up to lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians. The grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
the responsorial psalm. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Once I said, in the noontime of life, I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Those live whom the Lord protects. Yours is the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. Do you say in my life, O Lord, I shall not die? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are not are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have we not read what they did? did? When he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests could lawfully eat. Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent. I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If we knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned this innocent man for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, when the Pharisees questioned the action of our Lord's disciples, our oh Lord quoted from three references. The first quote he took from the action of David when they were hungry. He and his companions entered in the temple, took the bread, which is supposed to be eaten only by the free priest, but he went and ate it. 
second one. Sabbath day is a day of worship, not to do any work, but the priests who are working in the, in the temple, even though they were rich, they suffered the law, but they are innocent. And third one, from the book of Prophet, Prophet Hussein, that is, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. By taking these three parts from the David sanction and the temple work and the prophet Hosea, our Lord was teaching them what the Heavenly Father expects from them, that is, human service. When they are in need, show compassion to them, help them. That is more worthier than the sacrifice of animals. And that is what our Lord is telling us today. Look upon the need of our fellow brothers and sisters, our neighbors, and extend our support. What our way we can do to make their life a life with the joy and happiness. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give it thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, He freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, He gave us life. And so with angels and archangels, thoughts and dominions, and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of his glory, as without the end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and mind, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the heart of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these things to be privileged in your own spirit upon the like of the poor, so that they may be before us the body and blood of our Lord. At the time he was betrayed, and at the beginning of his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance. And once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the dance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we hope the Lord the bread of life and the chance of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that our partake of the body blood of Christ. We may be gathered but by the Holy Spirit. Fame of the Lord your church, spread to all the world, and prepare the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis of Paul, God served Bishop and Bishop elected David Tools, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, John Russell, whom you have called from this lucky verse. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him. His resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection of our died in our mercy. Welcome them into the light of her face. How mercy on us we pray that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all saints who have faced with for the ages, we may merit to be conquerors in channel and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the same age, command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sensible distress as we have the present hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, whose are both and the peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not all our sins from the faith of our church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in the heart of the way who live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with thee always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, give praise to the Lord, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, give praise to the Lord, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, give praise to the Lord, have mercy on us. We call in the Lamb of God. We call the him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord and I am our Lord.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to proclaim the good news through your life. Thank you.